At its heart, digital citizenship is participating in a digital community. As technology users, it is our right, our privilege, and our responsibility to uphold high standards and norms. As educators, it is our job to help students understand these standards of use so they can be successful and appropriate in their internet usage. In his book, Digital Citizenship in Schools, Mike Ribble outlines nine elements which teachers should address to help their students to become knowledgeable constituents in the digital community. The first element is digital access and is defined as the full electronic participation in society. To be more specific, this element addresses how teachers need to have a firm understanding of equity when it comes to their students' abilities to access technology both in and out of school. Digital commerce is the electronic buying and selling of goods. While elementary educators may not think that this element is an important norm to focus on, it's helpful to keep in mind that we are preparing our K-5 through students for their future. Elementary students might not currently be purchasing items online, but eventually we want them to be safe and discerning. Digital communication is the electronic exchange of information. It's more and more common for young children to communicate with one another via technology, whether it's at school, collaborating on a document, or at home while playing an online game. In my opinion, this is one of the most important elements for elementary teachers to focus on with their students. Digital literacy is the process of teaching and learning about technology and its uses. The earlier that the students understand the nuances of technology, the better they are able to understand how to use it appropriately. This is a vital norm for children and should be taught as early and often as possible. Digital etiquette is the electronic standards of conduct or procedure. It helps teachers educate their students on the appropriate and responsible ways in which they can communicate with others using technology. This element also focuses on helping students become aware of other digital users and how their actions affect others. Digital law is the electronic responsibility for actions and deeds and addresses the legal responsibilities of users and the possible ramifications for those who infringe on others' rights. It is important that schools put digital expectations and norms into place to help students understand how to adhere to digital laws as minors. Digital rights and responsibilities are those requirements and freedoms extended to everyone in a digital world. Just as our Constitution cites equal rights for all citizens, so should our schools address students' rights and responsibilities when using technology. Digital health and wellness is the physical and psychological well-being in a digital technology world. It is incredibly important to teach this element to students at a young age to help them to better understand the positive and potentially negative impacts technology use can have to both their body and their psyche. Digital security is the electronic precautions to guarantee safety. This element has become exceedingly essential to districts as they obtain more student devices and open up an increasing amount of space for digital learning. Both teachers and students need to understand how to protect their privacy and identity working online. Ribble ascertains that the nine elements of digital citizenship are interrelated and directly affect student learning and academic behavior not to mention students' lives outside of school. As educators provide more learning using technology tools, so should they take the time to teach students how to be responsible citizens.